The Grand Hotel used to be the place to see and be seen back in the 40s and 50s. The owners of the property want to return it to that grand splendor once again and make it the social hub of downtown St. Thomas. Federal attorneys were not as convinced, however, and grilled Public Works Commissioner Wayne Callwood and employee Sonia Nelthrop on the witness stand. So whether it's a volcanic ash from Montserrat or the volcanic dust from Italy or the Sahara dust from the African desert, one thing's for sure, the dust has arrived in St. Thomas. He said and chastised the legislature on spending. In fact, he said it's reckless spending. How do you respond to that? Thank, Thank you for your time you. tonight. You. Back to you, Sandy. Royal Caribbean refused to be interviewed on camera for this story. These puppets were made by a lot of students to see what they want to be when they grow up. And they have very positive images of what they want to do in the future. The next step is to secure all your gas appliances to a wall stud. Don't let them hang free. And then when an earthquake hits, duck and cover until it passes. And I finally understand what it's like to be my goldfish in the aquarium. Michael Burton, News 2, St. Thomas. The ocean waves and the pelicans make the only sounds heard early one morning at Megan's Bay. Interrupted only by pounding feet on pavement. He runs here every day. When I was training, I used to get up at 4.30 to run at 5 during the week. And the next thing you know, I was at the starting line of the Country Music Marathon in Nashville, Tennessee. But nothing compares to the biggest race in the world. They would scream your name, and they would, when, and then they would, they would pick up the Virgin Islands after they saw your name, and that would make them even more enthusiastic because, you know, they were struck by the fact that somebody all the way from the Virgin Islands was there running in. Virgin Islands Solicitor General Mac Davis is a cancer survivor. Race medals adorn his office, but no race had more meaning for him than the New York Marathon. What's happened is the kidney cancer has returned, but this time it's returned in the pancreas. Oh and in the remaining kidney, and uh, there's a tumor on my lung. Uh, and there's so many of them that they cannot operate to remove them. A year and a half ago, when Mac Davis won the Person of the Year Award from the Rotary Club, he said getting cancer was the best thing that ever happened to him. He still feels that today. I have been blessed in my life. Uh, I live, as I've said before, in paradise, mm -hmm. and uh, so if, if I'm not to receive the gift of long life, it would, it would you know, be very selfish of me to be bitter about that. I received so many other gifts that uh, you know, I, I can't be anything but grateful. This has to be one of the most supportive communities on the planet. Yet the biggest help is his family. When in the hospital, Mac's three children gave him their photograph with a recording. Isn't that cool? That's true. Uh, battling cancer is a marathon. Indeed, I could do that. So, so I can beat cancer too. I... Michael Burton, News 2. Coming. It's in the windows. It's on the shutters. It's on the cars. It's on shoes. Dust cakes everywhere in homes in estate Bavoni. But Bavoni homeowners across from the landfill say this is not the ordinary household dust. We're concerned about lead, mercury, and these different kind of contaminations. So <coughs> <the situation> <coughs> here, and many Bavoni homeowners say they are getting sick. Constantly, constantly on the chest. You could feel it in there, the tightness. My grandson has surgery twice, and it's possible he might have to have it at all time. Because of his sinuses. I can't breathe. I have to breathe through my mouth. Yeah. Until I get some shilling oil. Uh -huh. And then I rub it to my nose. Uh -huh. My cousin, um, in the first, they've had surgery, had to go to Puerto Rico and have surgery on the a couple of surgeries on the nasal passages and everything. In 1996, a federal agency declared the Bavoni landfill a public health hazard and confirmed toxic chemicals at the site. And ever since underground fires have erupted here, more Bavoni residents are complaining about health problems, including young children. Periodically, my little girl, when she gets um, these sinus um, inflammation and, you know, just acting up, that it takes a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. you know, for her to um, recover. 
they should pay for um, the testing because they have the landfill, right? I mean, that's government um, operated, mm -hmm. and that's what's affecting us, and we know it. Being overly patient to the point where um, it may um, end up costing us our life. Michael Burton, News 2. Brides seem a little more colorful in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Weddings are a big business here, but underwater? When you're getting married underwater, you have to pay attention to what the minister's saying. <laughs> Read his lips. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yet weddings still need a bridesmaid and a photographer. And there's always the guy who runs late to the wedding. And the precocious child who tries to steal the show. And the uninvited guest. And the ring. No, not that ring. But this wedding isn't a real one. It's a video promoting Sea Trek at the Coral World Marine Park. We feel by showing visually our story that we can reach out to people that otherwise we couldn't. And more St. Thomas tour operators say there's no substitute for a video in marketing your product. You always try to explain something through words. Today, it's video. It, I, I got to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of new stuff, stuff I've never seen before, like corals, you know, like close and personal. Yeah. In the Virgin Islands, many people get married on the beach or even by helicopter, but not many get married underwater. Sea Trek provides that opportunity for some couples looking for that excitement. So if you're in for exotic weddings, trek over to Coral World. There's always someone to catch your bouquet. <laughs>at Adelita Cancrine Elementary School say they are used to sweating. It'll be hot. I don't find myself. Find yourself with your book. Or your book cover. Uh, history teacher has no fans. No fans. welcome. But some days, students can't sweat it out anymore. I feel like I could barely breathe and start sweating. I start getting a headache and my stomach starts hurting. Sometimes I gotta go to the nurse. Now only what would be the temperature in here? 19. 19. Overhead ceiling fans don't circulate air because of bad design. And new AC units stand unused because of electrical problems. When it rains, you can smell it sweat. Then there's a stench of sewage when it rains. It's raining. You can smell sewage. We need help. We need help. The lack of AC, and that's not what we're focused on. We just want to clarify that. As you can see, the school does need repairs. What we're protesting about is things not getting done and we have to suffer because of it. We should have our guests because the rain was falling to the roof. They slammed the roof off. Last week, about 50 students studying the Bill of Rights in class protested the conditions and more walked out on Tuesday. Ever since we've been petitioning, we've been standing up for our rights. The, board, the school has bought it up. We are trying to better the school. We all pitch together and we are selling raffles to help buy the AC for ourselves and we are asking the government to help us with it. Well, I'm about in the coolest part of the classroom because I'm next to a fan. Not all of these fans work right in all the classrooms and some students at Adelita Cancrine say they are fed up with promises from the government and are raising funds themselves to get AC units in the classes. Yeah, we feel better but we're still not done yet. Michael Burton, News 2.